Hey, we're here at Smokey the Bear Historical Park in Capitan, New Mexico. And let's go inside and check it out. Hi. <laughs> Was Smokey a real bear? Yes, Smokey was a North American black bear who found Smokey. Smokey was found by a fire crew from Fort Bliss, Texas. Speed Simmons was the crew boss. Nobody knows for sure who actually found the little cub. Smokey was two and a half months old when he was found and weighed five pounds. So here is their exhibit hall at the Smokey the Bear Museum. Here's some of his posters. We've learned that Smokey the Bear is the second most popular international symbol other than second Santa Claus. Santa. Yep, second only to who, Connor? What? What's the jolly old guy's name? Santa Red Claus. Yep. Look at these first Smokey the Bear posters. Hey, Smokey's sleeping and dreaming of when he was a cub, Connor. Oh, yeah. And being found. Look, he's happy that the forest has come back from when he was a little baby cub. Smokey gets a junior forest ranger program and his own zip code. Smoky hot air Smoky had international influence. We picked up basically that same sticker yesterday to put on the truck. So Smokey the Bear holds large significance for us since we love the national parks. Look at that. We forgot something. Wooden bear dressed in clothes. Like on a plane or something. The real Smokey Baby. This is Smokey. That is Smokey, isn't it? He's really cute. He was found in a, in a forest fire. In 1950. Yeah. Isn't he adorable? He's adorable. This harness was worn by Smokey Bear as a cub on his 1950 flight to Washington, D.C. Frank Hines of Hobbs, New Mexico, Piloted the plane while uh, Homer C. Pickens, assistant game warden for the New Mexico Game and Fish Department, cared for Smokey during the flight. So here's a map of their outdoor area, which includes Smokey's grave and some other wildlife exhibits. All right, let's go. Grave. So this is Smokey the Bear's final resting place and he was brought back here because these are the mountains around us of where he was found. Yep, it says in 1951 Smokey was a tiny cub. Wildfire burned the forest home in the nearby Capitan Mountains of the Lincoln National Forest. Firefighters found the badly burned cub clinging to a blackened tree and saved his life. In June 1950, the cub was flown to our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., to become the living symbol of wildfire prevention and wildlife conservation. 
After 25 years, he was replaced by another orphaned black bear from the Lincoln National Forest. And a little known fact, he had a mate at the uh, Washington DC Zoo, uh, whose name was Goldie. They never had any cubs, but that was his mate. So at age 26, Smokey died peacefully in his sleep of old age in our nation's capital. That would be at the National Zoo. The date was November 9th, 1976, our nation's bicentennial year. So you can see here on this map, we're located right here. Smokey the Bear was found up here. And that is the Capitan Gap Fire 1950 that burned 17,000 acres. Did you know that in 1950, when the little cub was found, um, who became Smokey the Bear, he was originally called Hotfoot Teddy by a New Mexico newspaper. Um, and also that the Smokey the Bear character was actually created for print um, before Smokey was found in uh, the fire here in the El Capitan Mountains.